everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and today I would like to say Happy New Year to everybody and here is our first project for the year. This is a shutter car, so I've done, done this one. This is using all retired products. Um, these were out of last year's mini catalogue, but I just loved it, so I decided I would make one and show you just how gorgeous it looks. So that's last year's paper and everything else that goes with it. Oops, can't get that back on there for now. Let's pop it over there. Never mind. And this is done with this year's paper and the love of leaves. So, and I was, I absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. I love this paper. It's gorgeous. So, this is the card we're going to make today. But we're going to use, let me pop that out of the way, this set called Whiskey Business. And we're going to use the sending in an old fashioned birthday card and being a daddy's whiskey business. My dad's birthday is not until June, but I just love this and I thought, well, and my husband's just had his, so I can't, can't give him his either. So his was only the 20th of. December. So anyway, this is the card we're going to make. So let me pop that on one side for now and I will show you what we need. Now I've done some of the work. Oh, hang on, I've got an itchy eye. I've done some of the work so because of, there's quite a lot of bits and pieces to this card. Okay, so the main card is five and seven or oh, five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, which is a half a sheet of A4. Then we need four panels and I, this is smoky slate and this is basic grey. This we will need four panels that measure five and five eighths by one and seven eighths and four pieces of designer series paper that measure five and three eighths by one and five eighths. Now I've already stuck four, three of them on so we only need to do one together. For our middle section which we're going to do together and I'm going to show you how uh, my my new mini um, embossing and cutting machine so we'll go through that together so we'll need for the middle section we need a piece of card that measures five and seven eighths by two and three quarters and then a designer series piece that measures five and five eighths by two and a half then for our sh uh, frame oh, which I've already cut out this piece of card, this is not um, stamping up glitter paper, it's just some glitter paper that I had but I just thought it went perfect with this. So this piece is 3x3 three three, and I will show you what we did with that. For my uh, message panel that's on the inside of the card, this measures 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. For my shutters, you need two pieces of card that measure three and three quarters by three and one quarter so and then for our message thing on the back which i forgot to show you um we, we have a nice message panel you know um, like, like the insert but on the back of the card in this case and that measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and five and three eighths by three and five eighths and then a belly band, which I have left in the other room. So I will actually turn you off and come back with my belly band. Hang on a moment. And there we go. Hand our belly band, which measures nine and a half. I think this is just a bit longer than nine and a half at the moment by one inch. So let's put all these on one side. And let's start our card, shall we? Well, let's start by gluing this piece on. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we're going to use a layer in circles as well. And we're going to be using the fifth size in the plain circles and the sixth size in the scallop. So I'll pop them on one side because I'll show you how we're using those in a moment. And then whatever piece, like a piece of scrap here, just to do our stamping on. So we're going to start by, I'm going to glue this piece onto here first for the simple reason that it can have a few seconds to dry while we do the other things. And then we will cut this out together. So let's pop the lid on that for a second. Pop this on here. 
and that's our middle section and we just need to cut out our hole in the middle which we will do together in a few moments just give that a few seconds to dry first okay so we're going to start by scoring our main card and for this you're actually better to do it on your trimmer because you'll need to score at a, a, a really weird measurement really so I'm using my um, stylus from my uh, board my scoreboard and I'm going to pop this in at 2 and 1 sixteenths of an inch and I'm going to using the thin end it will fit beautifully in here I'm just going to score down and then I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and I'm going to score uh, put it in there at 2 and 1 sixteenth again and score again so because that's a strange measurement and we don't have sixteenths on our scoreboard so we're just going to do it on our other board. You can use the scoring um, blade on your score on your board here. You can use this scoreboard. This score move that one out of the way. This one, but I just find it so much easier to use my stylus. But that's just a personal thing. So. It's up to everybody's individual choice. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to pop our four pieces of card together with our four pieces of designer series paper. And then we're going to pop these onto the two fronts and the two inside sections. So let's do that together. If you have a designer series paper that is um, oops, directional, make sure you get your directions correct because nothing's worse than directional paper going the wrong way. Or at least I don't, I think so anyway. I mean, some people, it doesn't worry them. But it does me and I don't suffer with OCD so but I just think it looks wrong this is actually quite an easy card to make it just looks a little bit daunting because there's so many pieces to it so we have now got move that one down a tiny bit Our four panels onto our card. Oops, turn it. No, that's all right. There's no direction on this one. There we go. That's my four panels onto my card. Two on the outside and two on the inside. And that's just looking perfect at the present time. So let's pop that out of the way and let's bring in this gorgeous little thing here this is the mini stamping up cut and emboss so what you need you if it doesn't matter whether you've got the you buy the big one or the small one this is the mini you will need to put your plate number one down which is for your spacer and your number two plate on top which is your cutting plate your piece of card that you're going to cut and we in this case we're going to do our fifth size of our oval so I'm going to do this roughly roughly in the middle so that's just me it's not like you have to if you want to do it close to the top don't do it right at the top you need to make sure that you get everything lined up nicely and then your your number your second number two plate on top of that before we run it through the machine to cut through i'm going to run it back because of the fact that it's going through two pieces of card 
and let's move that out of the way and it's nice and light too that's just what I like the, my big shot is just really really heavy so we've got our centre cut out of our piece here now and this piece we will use on the front of the card with our glitter piece now when we did our glitter piece which I've done hang on let me find it what have I done with it Ta -da, here it is I laid my glitter piece of card in there <clears throat> with the scallop one on top and the other one just fits inside there perfectly so it's not going to move around so you don't need to know whether or not you've got it nice and even this piece will, will pop on the other side of this and we have our frame now this is optional but I just think it just sets everything off nicely so let's pop that piece of in the rubbish bin and those can go over there and we'll just glue our frame now to the centerpiece oops and we'll pop that onto the center of the card there and it just just actually just I think it just really really finishes off the inside of the card it just makes it look right like it's finished so let's pop that on one side with the other piece of the card I'm going to glue this circle onto this other circle because we will use this on the front of our card so I'm just gluing the two together because I'm going to use this side for the, out on our belly band so I'll pop that on there out of the way for now so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually make our shutters. So once again I'm going to bring in my um, scoreboard. This you could do on your normal scoreboard if you want. And we want to put this in on the long side which is the 3 and 3 quarter inch side at the half inch mark. Let's move that blade right out of the way. And I'm going to score that at the half inch mark. And I'm going to do that on both pieces. So make sure we have the, the same way because it's not a real, only a half an inch difference. Okay, so we're going to do that. And now we're going to, let me turn the page off and remember what. Um, oh, chocolate and itchy back. What I'm going to put this in at. So this way we're going to pop it now with the score line at the bottom here at the one and five eighth mark one and five eight so four five eighths and we're just going to put a little mark here now it doesn't matter how far in you go and we're going to do that on both of them one and five eighths whoops and that's all that you're going to need the scoreboard for at least i think pretty sure that's all and now we're going to use our pencil and our ruler and we're going to go and measure in from this line here one and seven eighths of an inch and we're going to mark that's two and seven eighths what am I doing one and seven eighths of an inch in and just making sure they're one and five eighths down which is there so we know and what we're going to do then is from that mark there we're going to draw a line from that mark down to the corner here and then we're going to do the same on the other side as well this is going to give us our shutters now using our scissors whoops I was out of the glass bowl. We're going to cut from that corner up to the center where they join. And gently pulling that out because we don't want any little pieces left there. But if you've got a little bit like I have, just use your snips to get in there and clean that up. Now, we're using my rubber, eraser, whatever you wish to call it. Just remove the marks. 
the pencil marks if there's any there. Right, you'll have the top one. Okay. Now we can do the same on this one, but we can also just lay the two on top of each other, making sure they line up properly. We can then just trace the other one with our scissors. Whoops. And that way, whoops, get over there. We know that they're identical. Let me move them scissors out of the way. Oh, my goodness, I didn't even get right up in there. What a wally. Never mind. We'll get there. There we go. So these two pieces we don't need, so they can go in our rubbish bin. So we have our two shutter pieces here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to fold and burnish these score lines down and then open them up again and we're going to use our double sided tape whatever I've done with it here it is this is my half inch tape um, and pop a piece of tape along the piece on the edge where the score line is and do that on both of them our tape done, making sure it's down nice and hard and now we're just virtually ready to put our card together but first we're going to do our little bit of stamping on our piece of card for our stamping this is our message piece which was two and three quarters square it can be a little bit smaller but I'm, I find that it's just easier to work on a bigger piece and I'm going to um, stamp using my basic grey and I'm going to put being a dad is whiskey business so I'm going to pop this as close to the middle as I possibly can so that it's out of the right in the middle there not that we need it right this second but it's better that that's done ready as well we're now going to turn this piece of middle section over and we're going to put some dimensions along the top and the bottom and put three along the top that's why you don't want your thing your hole quite right up to the top and three along the bottom okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our main card and we're going to put this in the middle so to pop this into the middle we know that this is two and three quarter inches so what is half a two and three quarters one and oh, I can't even think I really can't think but anyway my mind is a mental blank just making sure this is right in the center so the best bet is to measure it that is Ooh, about three quarters of an inch on that side just under on that side so let's move that just a tinsy bit that way so just under so that's about the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to just remove this doesn't matter if I move it and put it back again as long as I don't lay it down flat, I'll do it from this end. What was that? Uh, three quarters, just under, so just that way, a tiny bit. And making sure it is flush with the top of the card. We're going to stick down our top. Now you can do this at the bottom if you prefer to do it at the bottom. There's no big right or wrong way to do that. We're then going to pop our two shutters inside. But we're going to, before we do that, we're actually going to pop them together like this. And 
see how these overlap here we don't need that overlapping off of there so I, I actually cut them off back to the point of the um, tape that way they're not going to get caught anywhere so back to the score line on the other side This just makes it just that little bit easier to go into the card without getting caught up. Oops, get over there, all you bits and pieces. Right, so now we've got those cut off. I'm going to slide this in under here and line it up so that the centre here, where the two pieces join, see that, it's where those two pieces come together, is roughly in the centre of the card. And this means that the two ends, like this half inch line, should be level with that score, this edge of the, the card here and here. Okay, so if you're happy with that, when you're happy that that's fairly close into the centre, we're going to remove the release tape off the top of one side. And we're going to pull that over on top of it. So we're going to put that down nice and hard. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Making sure we don't move it because we don't want it to be skew-if or, you know, off-centred. So once we've done that, we can now see that that's going to open beautifully. And close beautifully and I know we haven't done the bottom bit yet but that's because we're now going to pop this piece in and this piece we're going to pop some glue on our site saying oops I don't want any glue on the front get off of there we're going to pop this underneath here underneath the two um, shutter pieces making sure that it's fairly well in the middle and straight and once you're happy with the way where it's sitting inside that we can then make sure that one of our is over the top and one is underneath and we can close that down just to give it a few seconds just to dry there's no other way of doing that I guess we could turn it over and give it a bit of a thing now we can pull the backs off of the other dimensions and we can pop that end down nice and flat as well there and so now we have our shutter card how gorgeous is that look at that how lovely is that so now we're going to do our decorating so we'll do our start with our back of our card first so we're going to let me move all these bits off the table and into the bin and I'm going to do using my basic grey again. I am going to stamp my words, which I'm not sure which way up they'll go. That way up, which says sending you an old fashioned birthday card. And then let's pop that out of the way. I will use my black. I'm not going to colour in my decanter uh, but I need a piece of paper, a piece of scrap somewhere oh, there we go, there's a bit of scrap so he's off the edge because he's not going to be all fully onto the card on this next to it next to it there we go I'm not going to color them in because I don't need to but I will stamp them again on my scrap piece of paper and I would have done these twice but I'm only going to do them once and once again I'm not coloring them in but we know who will get these I will color them in later so you will need four glasses and two 
decanters if you're doing the same card as me. So those were done and I have them already sitting here. I have two sets. One I did in um, whiskey and one I did in um, some other type of stuff <laughs> that you put in bottles. Okay, so we're going to glue these two together. And then we'll pop these onto the back of the card because it's better to do that before we put all our bits and pieces in the inside. And we're going to, making sure you've got your card up the right way, turn it over and pop our writing panel on the back. This one will take a little bit more pressing down because of the fact that we have our dimensions on the inside but we don't want to put it on too early because if you've made a bit of a mess here you don't want to make a mess on the back of your card here so we're going to open our card up again and we I have one that has dimensions on them and not on the um, whisk the glasses but one on the inside here which I'm going to pop hmm. let's see I think I might pop him just there so I won't need both of those off so let's pop all these bits off of here just making sure that the ones up here don't go on to the inner piece so I need to move them over a tiny bit that's better I don't want them sticking to our center piece and then I'll pop my bottle my glasses I think up here That's my inside done. Oh, why isn't this going? There we go. Inside done. So for the outside, now this is longer. I'm going to just trim this off. This should be nine and a half inches. So let's just trim that off first as I didn't do that before. <gasps> oh my goodness. Nine and a half inches. Get off of there. Okay, and we're going to then lay this down through the middle of our card and we're just going to gently bring these over. We don't want it tight but we want them to come together nicely and when you're happy with where they are we will then pop a little bit of glue onto the underside one and glue that across. And that's looking good. My card's a little bit further apart at the bottom because of all the bits down there, but never mind. We're going to pop this into the middle. So once again, we're going to pop some glue around the middle here. And we're going to just pop this onto the front of the card like so. Gorgeous. And we're going to pop our bottle here so I won't take those top ones off just these four in the middle and once again they're just there they'll help to stabilize the the card anyway so now to help these stick to the glitter you need to just put a little bit of glue onto the back of the foam pieces and that will actually help it to stick there just perfectly And my glasses, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue that one down flat and 
just here and the other one I'll pop in a dimension so we need to make sure that whoever receives this pulls our band off over the top and that one can just sit just like that just to finish this off I have some of this basic grey I think that's what colour it is um, yes it is basic grey um, twine which is actually new in the in the new um, mini catalog and this is um, from the well suited so I'm actually going to paste the piece about that length oops because I'm going to do a double bow so this piece is about 24 inches long probably won't need a piece that about that long but I'm just find it it's easier to work with when it's bigger and I'm going to then make my bow I'm going to just pop a mini glue dot I can't believe I've still got I keep buying glue dots and then I find ones that I had prior that are because we have a different colour packet now but never mind and we're going to just pop that onto the top of the bottle the front the decanter and trim off the ends and that's our card well what do you think I think it's gorgeous let me move all these bits and we will open them up and see what you think oops making all this mess before I move house never mind so there's our card lift off our band open it up and it says being a dad is whiskey business now I just think that's just so gorgeous and hmm, he will stand up beautifully like so you can't see it that way I'm like so <laughs> so there are my cards with their belly bands as I say you can't see them so let's lay them all down so you can see them all there's our lovely whiskey business love of leaves and the one made with the designer series paper that has actually um, already just been discontinued but for me they are just gorgeous cards it's so easy to do and that just goes to prove that you can do them for all occasions and I just think you will enjoy them as much as I do so I will see you again next week and if you've enjoyed my tutorial please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel I do keep you up to date with everything I do a tutorial every Sunday morning so there we go I hope you've enjoyed that I know that it was fun for me and I will see you again next week oops can't get this one off there we go okay bye for now